So um, I guess to warm you up about how we think about measuring galaxies and their distribution in space, I want to just consider an analogy. So here's Fenway Park, which I visited in summer 2019. So check it out, a Red Sox game. And uh, let's assume that we wanted to map out the location of people in the stadium the same the way that we want to map out the location of galaxies in the sky. Well, we might take a, let's take a slice of this um, stadium and consider that if we take two um, snapshots that are the same area, then we would actually see more people in the frame nearby and, or sorry, fewer people in the frame nearby, but many more fill up the frame when they're far away. Right. And um, so we see many faint people, right? And fewer bright people in our analogy here. And Hubble was in the same position when he started to try to map out the locations of galaxies. And what's more, he saw this pattern um, repeat itself everywhere he looked in the sky. So this leads to an important set of assumptions that we make about how galaxies are distributed in space. Um, and the two principles are called homogeneity and isotropy. And they form what we call the cosmological principle. So these are the two assumptions of the cosmological principle. So the first is homogeneity, meaning that the universe looks the same at all locations. So as an example, let me ask you, which of these two pizzas is homogeneous? Yeah, I see the most votes for pizza B which is also what I had in mind. So if I look at the location of pepperonis, it looks about you know the same no matter where I look on the pizza, at least if I ignore the crust uh, for pizza B, but not for pizza A. So um, that's one piece of the cosmological principle is that we think that um, the universe should look the same at all locations. So if I take some sample in one area of the universe of galaxies, it should look the same to any other sample that I take in any other location. The second piece of the cosmological principle is called isotropy. And so this is the idea that the universe should look the same no matter which direction we look in. So same question for you, um, which of the pizzas is isotropic? Okay, um, maybe less obvious and it kind of depends on the assumptions that you're making as to which direction you should be looking in, right? So if I'm saying that um, isotropy means the pizza looks the same in any direction, well, then if I decide that I want to look from the center to the edge of the pizza like this, right? Then if I look in various directions along pizza B, I see about the same distribution of pepperonis versus cheese. Whereas if I look out from the center in pizza A, then I definitely don't see the same number of pepperonis versus cheese in any direction. So in that sense, pizza A is definitely not isotropic. But for pizza B, if I turn it flat and I look at it from the edge, right, and I imagine that I have an ant digging a tunnel into the pizza, well, then it's not really isotropic in, in that direction, right? So I guess sort of neither pizza is isotropic if you're considering the whole three-dimensional pizza. And for you know, the universe, we should consider three dimensions because we do live in a three dimensional universe. So here I would say neither pizza is really isotropic. Um, pizza A is not isotropic in either direction and pizza B is isotropic along the slice, but not up and down. All right, so we have um, these two factors that form the um, cosmological principle. So my question for you is, let's apply it to a non-pizza situation back to stadiums, I guess. Um, so type in the chat, do you think the fans that you see in the stands at Autzen Stadium are distributed homogeneously? Um, is the distribution of fans isotropic? Are both of those true or neither? So I'll give you a minute to think about that and type it into the chat. Don't hit send till I count down. Okay. So let me try to draw some of the things that you're saying. Um, so it seems like there's not really a homogeneous distribution of fans. If I look, for example, at a volume there versus a volume here, then I see different numbers of fans in either of those two areas. So they're not really homogeneous. And I guess that means that if I'm standing here taking the picture, then it's not exactly isotropic either. 
right? I would see different fans in different directions um, as well. Plus, if you think about, you know, being homogenous over the entire stadium, then there's no fans down here, at least not sanctioned. So then that's definitely not homogenous. All right, so these ideas might seem a little bit abstract and I hope that these help to make this more concrete. 